The Toy Story is over. In business for decades, Toys R Us officially set to close its doors. And this mecca of everything from blocks to bikes will leave a void for kids and their parents. Michael Cross takes a look at the future of toy shopping and the loss of another retail giant. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Bikes to trains to video games at Toys R Us, soon to be a thing of the past, leaving many with just memories of their childhood. I was telling my mom today, I remember going and they have this fantastic Barbie aisle and all of like the games and stuff, and that's really fun, and I was looking forward to doing that with my daughter. Every Friday after my mom got off of work, we'd go to Toys R Us, and she'd let me play with the toys and then pick one out and bring it home. The 70-year-old retailer is closing all 740 U.S. stores, cutting more than 30,000 jobs. Many stopping by the Framingham location following today's announcement. I wanted to, you know, show the kids like what mommy used to do when she was little. Experts say shoppers are just going elsewhere to make their memories and get their toys places like Target or even online. David Hessel, owner of the Toy Shop of Concord, isn't surprised about the closing, but believes the brick and mortar toy business is far from over. Part of it's kind of the joy of childhood that you see going on because you, you kids walk in the front door and you see them light up the moment they walk in. So it's got kind of that joy that you appreciate. With only two months left, the Toys R Us kids have no choice now but to grow up. I mean, he's 17 and still it was something we wanted to come and say goodbye to and have a little chance before it's empty shelves. Here we are. One last huzzah. Reported in Framingham, Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News. Uh